Hi, welcome to Nearly Zero Waste Steam Project, the YouTube channel where I turn recyclables into really cool stuff. Today, I'm gonna talk about this queen bee crown. Actually, I am going to talk about the entire parade float that it was part of that I made for the Santa Barbara Summer Solstice Parade. I bet you think it costs a lot of money to make a piece of art this big, but you're wrong because I used mostly garbage to make it. I'm gonna show you what I used, what I had to buy, and how I made it in a segment I like to call I started with these cardboard tubes from my local reuse store. They came from a skateboard manufacturing company. I think they held some kind of metal inside. I paid $10 for them. I made a little model out of toothpicks and hot glue to help me know what I was gonna make. And then I cut the tubes into foot long sections and found some scrap wood and cut that into these little triangles. I then sandwiched the tubes between the triangles and put three screws in each triangle sandwich. I actually didn't have to buy any screws. They were all salvaged from previous parade floats. Next, I drilled some holes in the sandwiches and then I popped in some more cardboard tubes and stuck the whole thing together. It was pretty hard to get those pieces to fit just right, but I did both of the honeycomb pieces. Now I've got my structure. Next, I used some fluff from inside a pillow that a dog chewed up to pad the joints. And then I masking taped over them to make a nice, clean, organic looking joint. Oh yeah, I had to buy the tape too, like seven rolls. Next, I, or my volunteers mostly, used recycled brown paper bags to paper mache over the whole thing. I did spring for glue though because I wanted it to be strong. I used wallpaper paste and wood glue. Meanwhile, my dad built the 16 by 8 foot deck that everything was going to go on. We did have to buy some pieces of wood for this, but I'm not going to count it because they're going to be used for years to come. I built a structure to put the honeycombs on, and then I built structures along the sides to hold the xylophones. Yes, I said xylophones. They're going to hang off the sides and kids are going to play them. I want to note that the wood I used for that was mostly reclaimed wood, and any new wood is going to be used again for parade floats next year. I didn't catch any pictures of me doing that, but look at the kids practicing xylophones. In fact, I led an entire summer camp where the kids came and helped me build the queen bee's throne. They had a lot of fun. Here's them working on the throne! The bottom of the throne is a chair I found on the side of the road, actually, and the back is part of a float that we recycled from last year. And then we used a recycled piece of foam and some scrap fabric to upholster the pad for the back. Meanwhile, the honeycomb had to be painted with donated paint, and the costumes had to be made. It's almost crunch time. I did buy several t-shirts to make a lot of these costumes, but most of it was donated scrap fabric. I got really messy and had a lot of fun in this process. Minus the wood that's gonna be used again, only 70 bucks on raw materials. Finally, after two months of blood, sweat, tears, and coffee, it's done. Here I am at 6 a.m. on parade day, ready to push this thing into position. And here we all are. I had about 40 people in my ensemble. At least 11 of them pushing and pulling these things up the streets. Thanks, parents. Here's my mom as the queen bee. And here's me, flying down the street, looking like I know what I'm doing. So the bees had a little performance where one of them would get silly, and then the pesticide would squirt him. Oh no, and he falls down. Ah ha ha. And then the other bees would have to swarm the pesticide and kill him. <laughs> and then they would go take their hurt bee over to the queen bee. <laughs> that kid came and cracked a confetti egg on him. And they'd fix him. And they are doing some cool karate moves. It's definitely sped up. And here's the whole finished float. Look at the kids playing their xylophones. And there's me. I did this butt dance the entire time. Uh, yeah. Sweet dreams are made. had fun watching me make that gigantically huge project. It was super fun. I only, I think I only had like, like three panic attacks in like two months. So yeah, 
Thank you so much to everyone who helped out. Mom, Dad, Amy, the Fonseca family, the home family, and everybody else. Thank you so much. I really could not have done it without you. So anyway, if you like watching me make cool stuff out of recycled materials, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye for now.